how do you react to change in the workplace? Is it something that you get excited about, or are you more prone to feeling anxious and uneasy? For many of us, change brings about a lot of emotions, some positive and some negative. But if we want to succeed, we must know how to move past those negative feelings and recognize change for all the great things it has to offer. So, how's that done? Let's first explore why change is unsettling and what reactions people tend to experience. Change is often unsettling for four primary reasons. First, change comes with future uncertainty. When faced with change, we have to leave behind what we know, and that new uncharted territory can be stressful. Second, change threatens our sense of personal competency. After all, when we introduce something new, we become beginners all over again. Third, change disrupts our routines. It replaces our everyday habits with unfamiliar strategies, and that can leave us feeling vulnerable. Finally, change comes with a fear of failure. Often, it requires a learning curve, so it's normal to feel anxious that we might fall short. Because of those unsettling factors, many people struggle to accept change outright. More often than not, our reactions tend to be more fluid and move through different stages. Typically, there are five stages of reacting to change. First, there's shock and denial. After hearing about a new change, we might think, I can't believe this is happening, or this can't be real. Next, after the shock wears off, we can feel angry and frustrated. We might feel powerless and overwhelmed, and that can cause us to lash out. Third, we might try to fight back by bargaining and negotiating. At this point, we're looking for a way out, whether that involves postponing the change, making it smaller, or limiting its impact. So, what happens after our emotions settle down? Typically, we then move into a period of mourning for all that we're going to lose. And that brings us to the fourth reaction stage. The fourth stage is depression and detachment. At this point, we come to terms with what's happening. But as we think of all the things we're going to leave behind, we can start to feel sad and isolated. Finally, after we process all those emotions, we arrive at the stage of acceptance and moving forward. Here, we welcome the change for what it is and direct our attention towards what's new. It's common to experience all the different stages of reacting to change. But the sooner you can reach acceptance, the better off you'll be. So, how do you do that? Let's look at four strategies for accepting change. First, write down your emotions and concerns. List everything you're going through and consider why that is. By recognizing your emotions, you'll feel less overwhelmed. Plus, you'll also learn about the reasons behind your frustrations. Second, seek information. Consider your top concerns and write down some questions. Then, reach out to others. The more details you gather, the less overwhelming the change will feel. Third, focus on what you can control. Make a list of all the concerns that you have control over. For example, if you need to use new software, you can take control by watching training videos online. Finally, consider the positives that come with change. Look forward, not back, and make a list of everything you're going to gain. Point your attention toward the benefits and you'll start to feel excited rather than fearful. There's no denying that workplace change is stressful. But you can move past those negative emotions and switch your perspective. Just remember to recognize where you are, seek out more information, and take control where you can. Continue to find that silver lining and you can start to embrace change for all the possibilities that come with it.